Listen to this. Billiards and Brews is serving beer once again, and now we're learning more about the injunction filed by a judge allowing that to happen. WATE.com reporter Austin Martin is at our alert desk. Austin, this bar was one of the top offenders of the bar curfew. It was punished. We followed the whole thing. So people are wondering how is it able to go back to business as usual? Well, this could be temporary depending on the outcome of a trial. I've been combing through the paperwork all afternoon. According to the petition for damages, bar owner Richard Lawhorn and his legal team are still taking the same stance they have in beer board hearings, saying that the city, county, and beer board of health have no constitutional right to force them to close early, calling those policies, quote, discriminatory and not grounded in good science or medical data. You'll remember the bar was cited 18 times for bar curfew violations and a shooting in the wee hours of December. 27th in the bar parking lot could have been to blame because the bar was still open at that hour. Several hearings were held between the City of Knoxville Beer Board and Billiards and Brews. Ultimately, the city revoked the bar's beer license, meaning B&B could not reapply for it for 10 years. That was back in February. On Monday, an injunction from the Knox County Chancellor allowed the bar to resume beer sales after posting a $500 petitioner bond. A trial date has been set in Knox County, County Chancery Court. I reached out to the city. They do not comment on pending litigation, but a city spokesperson did offer more clarification about the situation. The city says it is up to a judge to decide whether the business can still sell beer pending resolution of the lawsuit. Coming up at file, I'll have more on the lawsuit filed and what grounds for legal action the bar owners say they have. At the alert desk, Austin Martin, WATE.com. All right, Austin, thank you. Now, the State Alcoholic Beverage Commission suspended Billiards and Brews liquor license even before the city pulled that beer permit. A Facebook post from the bar's account says that license is pending. Austin did reach out to officials with TABC. They say that liquor license is still suspended pending an administrative hearing, which is set for April 22nd. We'll be following that.